Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound in this uh, pandemic and I hope that everyone is ready to learn something new today. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you will know when my videos come out, generally between 3 and 4. And subscribe. By you subscribing to my channel, it shows that you appreciate what I'm doing. And I thank all of you who have subscribed up until now and for those of you who will subscribe in the future. And again, I have not come up with the promo yet. Probably I'm going to be giving money to a random subscriber. I just have to figure out how much I can afford to do, you know, when I get to a thousand subscribers. So uh, let's get into today's lesson. So uh, today we're talking about um, home remedies, okay? Uh, we're doing home remedies for fever, okay? I've gone through the list and we're up to the, the seventh one, which is a home remedies for a fever. If you didn't see that list, you go to my first video about common health problems and you'll see it. Okay, so... What you need to know about breaking a fever? We include products we think are useful for our readers. If you buy through links on this page, we may earn a small commission. Okay. Not interested in that, just interested in, uh, you know, what... If you or someone you're caring for has a fever, follow these steps to break the fever. Take your temperature and assess your symptoms. If your temperature runs 100.4 or higher, you have a fever. Stay in bed and rest. S keep hydrated. Drinking water, iced tea, or very diluted juice to replenish fluids lost through sweating. But if keeping liquids down is difficult, suck on ice chips. Take over-the-counter medications like acetaminophen and ibuprofen to reduce fever. Note the proper dosage and don't, don't use them alongside other fever-reducing medications. You shouldn't give aspirin to your baby or child without con consulting your doctor. Infants under six months of age should be given, I shouldn't be given ibuprofen, so shouldn't. Stay cool. Remove extra layers of clothing and blankets unless you have the chills. Take tepid baths or using cold compresses to make you more comfortable. Cold baths, ice cube baths, or alcohol baths or rubs can be dangerous and should be avoided. But no matter what, the number on the thermometer reads, if you have any concerns, consult your doctor. So, again, I am not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV. These are for home remedies only. If, you know, if you have a slight fever, I would suggest using a home remedy. If it lasts for a long time, then I would suggest going to the doctor. Okay. Running a fever is the body's response to fighting infections caused by viruses or bacteria. Fevers can also result from sunburn or from getting immunizations. So I've heard people getting the um, coronavirus uh, vaccine and after they get it, sometimes they get a slight fever, but then that's it. Anyone can get a fever regardless of age. People who have compromised immune systems may tend to have fevers more often than others do. To learn about specific treatment guidelines by age and understanding symptoms, continue reading. So we're going to continue. Check your vitamin levels with an at-home micronutrient. No, that's not it. That's just an ad. Sorry. How to assess the situation. A healthy adult with a slight fever may feel like they've been hit with a Mack truck, but a baby with a high fever may sometimes feel pretty comfortable. The reverse of both scenarios can also occur. Fevers are in one size fits all, and neither are their symptoms. Your overall comfort level and symptoms can help you decide how to treat a fever. If you have a fever, you may experience the following symptoms. Feeling weak or lightheaded, loss of appetite, headache, muscle aches, sweating, chills, nausea, vomiting, or rash. If a rash accompanies your fever, you should consult with your doctor. It's important that your doctor determines the root cause of the rash. Other symptoms such as nausea or vomiting may result more resolve more quickly with medical attention. If your fever is over 103 Fahrenheit, you should seek immediate medical attention. 
This is especially true if you experience it confusing, hallucinations, or convulsions. So if it's that high, they said, go to the doctor. Don't try treating it at home. Okay. Temperature taking 101. Most people have a baseline temperature of 98.6, although some people have a baseline that's slightly higher or lower. Daily temperature fluctuations are also normal. Different types of thermometers can yield different results. You're considered to be running a fever if an oral, rectal, ear, or temporal artery thermometer registers 100.4 or higher. So if it's under 100, you're not running a fever. If you use an auxiliary thermometer, the temperature reading will be about 1 degree Fahrenheit or 1 Celsius lower. So anything over 99.4 would constitute a fever. Most people, I think, they use the, the forehead one nowadays. Yeah. Many places you go, they have the forehead one where they scan your forehead. Many pediatricians recommend using rectal thermometers for infants and babies. Discuss with your doctor what type of thermometer to use. You should also be sure to let them know what kind of thermometer you used to record your child's temperature. So it depends. When to see a doctor. Pay attention. How and when you should treat a fever is generally determined by your age. If left untreated, fever can lead to serious complications in young children, older adults, and people with compromised immune systems. Okay. So if you have a compromised immune system or your child, don't don't wait around. If you're not in those categories, I would you know not rush into anything. Infants up to three months old should be seen by a doctor. If they have a fever over 100 or above, they should still see a doctor even if there are no symptoms present. Babies three to six months old may not require treatment for fevers up to 102. If your baby has other symptoms or the fever goes above 102, you should call your doctor. Children ages six months to two years old who have a temperature at or above 102 may take over-the-counter medications under doctor's supervision. Let your doctor know if the fever persists for more than a day, worsens or doesn't come with medication. Okay. Young children and adolescents. Children ages 2 to 17 all generally don't need medication to reduce fevers under 102. They may benefit from medication if they're experiencing symptoms such as irritability or muscle aches. If their fever goes above 102, medication may be used to bring it down. If your child is very uncomfortable or if their fever persists for more than three days, you should consult with your doctor. Adults 18 and over typically don't need medication for a fever under 102. Fevers above that number may be reduced by medication. If your fever goes above 103 or doesn't respond to treatment, a call to the doctor is warranted. Adults with a fever and other symptoms such as stiff neck Severe pain anywhere in the body or shortness of breath should seek immediate medical attention. Okay. Now, pay attention. Fever in adults over age 65 doesn't automatically require special treatment, though you should be on the lookout for symptoms such as shortness of breath or confusion. If you're experiencing these symptoms, you should seek immediate medical support. You should also consult with your doctor if your fever goes above 102 or doesn't come down within two days. So two days is the maximum. You can try over-the-counter medications, but you should be sure they won't conflict with any of the medications you're taking. Okay. If you have a compromised immune system, you should seek a doctor's care. A compromised immune system is common to people that have HIV, cancer, or immune system diseases. Fever is often a significant uh, sign of infection. Sometimes these infections are fast moving or hard to treat. So if you have a compromised immune system, getting immediate medical support to fever is important. What can you do now? Okay, so check the age guidelines, like I said. Stay hydrated, like, like I said. Keep track of how long it is that you've had the fever. Okay, so basically that's what they're telling you. They're telling you generally you don't need medicine. Um, honestly, I like to eat soup when I'm having when I have a fever. It sound, may sound funny, but a lot of Koreans during the summer they actually eat soup, and it actually lowers their body temperature. Don't ask me how it works, but it does. 
Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that bell notification and subscribe. Okay, by subscribing to my channel, it shows that you appreciate what I'm doing. Okay, I will decide on how much I can afford to give for the promo when I get to a thousand subscribers. I will see you tomorrow. I will either do a automotive video or I will do a Korean video tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I will see you tomorrow. Take care.